Well, good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday, the 6th of April, 2021, um, about 20 to 7 in the morning. And I'm just leaving home for my shortest ever rejoin of a trail. Because I'm now officially on the 1066 Country Walk and I'm making my way towards Rye. The temperature is minus one, but according to the phone weather forecast, it feels like minus four because of just a slight breeze. These uh, trees either side of this path have been severely pruned since the last time I came down here. Walking in the great wood now. I remember speaking yesterday about the tremendous variety of landscapes on this trail and this is a large area belonging to the Forestry Commission. That's where I've come from. And that's where I'm headed, into the rising sun. This is very much a working forest as can be seen by the piles of timber stacked up after the winter. And you can see how for much of the year, this is an absolute quagmire for walking. Not the easiest of trails to do in the middle of winter. <coughs> Settle scum. This part of the path has been substantially tidied up since the last time I was here. I think I lasted this walk a year or two ago and uh, the, there were points where the trail was almost impassable. So the money spent on path clearing has been worthwhile. Even if the money spent on the sculptures is a bit questionable. Another abrupt change of landscape to a golf course. Uh, still moving into the rising sun. Still plenty of frost down there. I passed some stunning displays of daffodils this morning. More to come just approaching the A21, which is the next busy road to cross. Well, that's the A21, safely negotiated. Forward to Rye. When I did this walk in 2015, it was absolutely impassable at this point, And uh, I had to give up. Well, I didn't give up, I had to just go a different way and uh, I don't know if I'm going to get across here today. Oh, certainly not that way. Uh, let's, let's try this way. Well, that was the trickiest bit so far. I know this path has got ideas of improvement, but I don't think it's part of the South Downs National Park. You know, the Bible says God can provide a table in the wilderness. But because he can always do more than we can ask, think or imagine, he not only provides a table, 
but a chair. This is a 360 degree view. Westfield is over there. But it's quite, it seems quite remote to the southeast. That's a new orchard or a vineyard. I did this walk one year and got absolutely soaked in this field because I'd not got any gaiters on and the grass was very long. I, it must have been much later in the year. Anyway, I'm not going to have that problem today. This must be the next sculpture. Obviously East Sussex's answer to Stonehenge. I mean, very interesting, but very few people are going to see it as the station here has been all but closed. There's a station just over there, and about two trains a day stop there now. that's where the station is, where that bridge is. I can't understand why it can't be a request stop. Be great for walkers. I once saw a terrapin in this pond. This is the top of Dolum Hill and I can just make out traffic on the A259 in the far distance. horses in this field and it can always be a bit of a mud bath. <laughs> These new way marks have been much appreciated. is certainly doing a good job maintaining these bridges. Glorious views but an absolutely biting wind.
this does not look steep, believe me, it will feel it. What a glorious view from the top, way back to the marsh that we've just walked over. To infinity and beyond. A beautiful old agricultural building. I'm wondering if it's a looker's hut for a shepherd because there's uh, obviously there's been a fireplace inside, so it's never been a stable. And lookering was a unique form of keeping watch over sheep that was um, more or less confined to Romney Marsh and its offshoots. Here's an example of a modern orchard with miniature trees. Well, in the next few minutes, the path is going virtually from sea level to the top of that hill, which is 61 metres. This does not look steep, but I can assure you it is. I started way beyond that oak tree there, and now I'm really up to the level of the top of it. This rather sheltered bit makes a change from the wide open spaces of the marsh. We're making for Hog Hill Mill. This field used to have the best mushrooms for miles around in season, but I haven't seen any here for years. Well, we're almost at the summit of the hill now. So you should be able to see the sea. And the lake's down at pet level. This is the view from my lunch stop. across the Dungeness power station. A welcome seat, shadowing the A259 for a short stretch in Winchelsea. That's the stretch I've come up, standing outside of John Wesley's chapel. He's supposed to have preached his last sermon in Winchelsea. 
is one of the houses I pointed out a while back. Just when you think you're leaving Winchelsea by one of the main gates, the trail springs a surprise on you. And you get directed out of a side entrance. These are the houses we could see from Hog Hill Mill. And now we're going to look back in the direction of Hog Hill. You can see the windmill in the distance. Looking over, this is a picture of the old mill that stood here. I remember the old mill, but it didn't have sails on when I was a child. For many years, my mother worked at that farm over there, Crutches Farm. It's now the property of the National Trust, but lots of the farm buildings are there. And I can remember when the fields where the poplar trees are were hop fields, and going into the place where the hops were picked when picking became mechanised. And I remember riding up the farm track on top of a cartload of um, hop, sacks of hops to the oast where they were going to be dried. Of course, none of that would be possible in these health and safety conscious days. The mill is 37 metres above sea level and we're now going back down onto the marsh for the last time. Of course as a child I used to love watching the trains when mum was at work. In those days they were all steam hauled. Just entering the Cadborough Cliff section of the walk, which I'm quite looking forward to. I've only been along here once before. Had it been warmer, I think I would have hoped to have seen quite a few butterflies this afternoon. Oh, the sun's come out. Haven't seen the sun for a while. So here we are at Rye, after two wonderful days walking from Pevensey Castle. And I arrived here at five past three the following day.